So hello everyone. Thank you for joining. Happy Valentine's Day. And in this occasion, I have prepared um, a two flamingo painting. Uh, so you can probably see there is a heart between them uh, as a symbol. And here by my side, you can see two kind of unusual paintings. Oh, and um, we're going to see. We're going to start with this one. And then we feel, too, everyone, we can implement those um, drawings inside, either inside the flamingos or maybe a bit in the background. We, we're going to check and discuss it together. Uh -huh. Juliet, Ellie, what do you think? You like the flamingos? Yeah, very nice, happy. Okay, so since today we have a newcomers, so I I will also show how I prepare my paper. So generally what I have here, I have, of course, I have water in my cup. I have my brushes palette. I have my paints. And of course we have, I have paper. Uh, I use cardboard. You can stick it to the table. Cardboard is easier and you can move it. And then I use masking tape. So in the end, I can have this nice white frame. Yeah. It's kind of then the painting looks cleaner, nicer. You can put it to them. And it's easy. You just kind of measure how much you need. And you can even also decide how thick you want your uh, frame. So let's say here I'm putting now a bit more than usually. This one. So generally, we all prepare it prior lesson. But I just wanted to show for those who are new how it's done. It's very easy. Yeah, very nice. And then, of course, we will need a pencil and the razor to start our um, our sketch. Yeah. All right. Uh, also, how we work, since I don't see your drawings, you can show me thumbs up when you're ready. Yeah, then I know you're ready to start. Ooh, I see, Audrea, you're showing me your paints and everything. Mm, cool stuff. Hey, hi, Antra. Nice. So who is ready to start? Yes, Juliet, Ellie. Very nice. Audrey also ready. Okay. So since it's Valentine's Day, we start with the heart. Just right in the middle. So you kind of no, measure, you find the middle, and you can start with the heart. Just as it is, like one side and another. Yeah, you can use your eraser to correct it if you want it. Um... Mm -hmm. Nice. So we are starting with a heart. Yeah, it's kind of big. So you can see, like, till the end of the paper, I have. Not so much, so it's, you know, not too small.
Yeah, so take your time to do a nice heart. And if you're ready to continue, you just show me thumbs up. Yay, I see Audrea, you're ready. Thanks, Ellie's ready. Good job. So we continue with the head of flamingos. We repeat the side of the heart and we go for the body. Yeah. So all this inside is kind of the the nose, yeah, maybe a bit bigger even. Like from this point, we are allowed to change also the shape of the heart. So if I feel kind of that, you know, I want to correct a bit, I can correct. Yeah, but generally, so here from inside, I do the... peaks of flamingo and then the head goes a bit up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nice yeah Thanks, Audrea, for showing me. And then we just continue the all along the heart. We kind of double the line. Right, so this would be our. Nice. I see Ellie is ready. Thanks for showing it. So, of course, what do we need else? We need to do the body. Yeah, so it's also like half circled line. And then we finish it at the bottom. Yeah. So kind of from this moment, I just go like up. And it's okay even if, let's say, now I'm not really fitting. It's fine. I just I just brought prolong to the top. And here where is our ending of the heart. We're gonna do the connection. So we're gonna kind of just Yeah, so also um All the wings of flamingo that are kind of shaped in this way that at the bottom we have a double. So this kind of, here I have kind of this kind of shape. Nice. So basically, what's left, we need to do the legs. 
And you can see also nice puddles around the legs. And then we're gonna do the landscape. Yeah, then it's gonna be the um, all different colors of landscape. But let's start with the legs. So once you have a body, here is just a straight line, very easy. And here it's like the line uh, that changes the direction. So very easy, let's say more or less from the middle of the body, we do the straight line. Yeah. Here, from the middle of the body, I'm gonna get a bit lower. And what we do, we can start also with just with one line and then make it double like this, a bit like triangle. Mm -hmm. And then from this side as well, like this, and make it triangle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then all what you need, you just need to make it kind of be double the thickness. Uh, everything has the thick thickness. Yeah, so let's everyone to finish. Um, since we're here at the bottom, well, actually, we don't make it with the pencil. We leave it and we make it straight with the paints. It's gonna look much cleaner. Yeah, if we do it with pencil, then you're gonna have the pencil marks there, and yeah, so we just leave it this way. What else we can do the pencil? We can do definitely the line that divides the water from the ground. Yeah, it can be anywhere, maybe like somewhere here. Hmm. Like the horizontal line. Oh, we definitely have two more things to do with uh, flamingos. One is the wing, yeah? So it's kind of the spot a bit whiter. Um, we can mark it here, but again, it's actually- but I always get the wing. Yeah, yeah, it's like the, the, the lighter part. Thanks, Antra, for- But also, I mean, don't do it too harsh with pencil. We're gonna go with paint. Yeah, but we're gonna lighten up all the drawing anyway. Yeah, a bit. Like this? Um, I can't really see it, Antra, how you did it. But hopefully, should be good. Mm -hmm. And another thing with what we want to do is eyes, yeah? So let's check. Nothing hard, just the shape a bit prolonged and the dot, yeah? 
So basically what we do here, we go with the wider line and the dot. And upper line of the eye is always darker. So upper line, we can do like the, the double. I finished. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm definitely waiting for um, for everyone to. Yay, Audrey is ready. Thank you, Audrey, for your finger. Yay, and Andrea is also ready. Wow, impressive. Andrea is painting outside. That's like, wow, a challenge. Um, yay, I can see it. Thanks, Andrea, for showing. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. Oh, and Ellie. Okay, let me check. <gasps> Yay, I see good heart there and good shapes of the body of flamingos. Nice one. Good job. Yes. Um, what else would be important? We mark those lines of the background. Just don't do really thick pencil, you know. Because the colors here will be light and you know that the pencil will shine through. But what is important, don't do them all the same size. Let's say, look, here it's a bigger part. Here is a, like really the level of the heads. So something like here, something like here would be the, you know. And then we have like maybe a bit bigger. And you see, like, that's what the brain does. The brains, our brains, they want everything the same. So we need to tell them, no, 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 not the same. We want different sizes, bigger, smaller, but bigger, the biggest. So different, yeah, different the, the size here of each part. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Audrey, you have a question. You can ask. It's not a question. I actually want to just to say I know many, many languages. Well, nice, Audrey. What languages you can speak? Um, French. Wow. Russian. Oh, impressive. Latvia. Uh -huh. I know Latvia is very good because I live in Latvia. That's so nice. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Adria, for sharing so many languages, you know. That's impressive. Wow. Thumbs up. Yay. Um, all right. To continue. So let's say... Ah, I see Antra is sharing her pencil drawing. Nice one. Good job, Antra. I think it's it's really well done. So before we continue with the water and paints, uh, I would suggest we take a razor. And what we do, we lighten up or all our drawing. So it doesn't mean I'm erasing it. I, I can still see, I can still see all the lines, but I'm making it lighter, you know, because I don't want the pencil to shine through. So I'm just kind of cleaning a bit. Yeah. So you can try. Then you are, then it's easy for you to do the, 
all the paints because then you don't need to worry about the pencil and everything. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm not erasing it completely. I can still see all my lines. I know where I need to go with paint. Yeah. And then very important, I clean well all the all the erasers up. Yeah. You can also take, let's say, a clean brush. So no eraser leftovers. Because uh, once there is water, there is no way back. Yeah. So really want it clean. No eraser stuff. And we don't want to have the pencil too, too strong. Yay, good job, Ali. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Just lift it up vertically, make it all fall down, blow it, use the brush, and then it's gonna um, it's gonna work well. Okay, now I think I want your um, opinion. Should we or should we not incorporate these kind of elements? Uh, Juliet Ellie, you're experienced once in this group. What do you think? Um, maybe like we could do like um a cat and maybe its tail could be a heart. Um, or we could Ellie, we're, we're just incorporating the Zen details into the flamingos. We're not making a cat. Uh yeah, well, um, yeah, thanks for comment. I um I agree with Julia. This is was my idea. We do the design, but of the kit is just an example, but we do design inside the flamingos. Okay, shall we try it? Yeah, very nice. I really like your um so what we do, how how it works this design. Okay, then we're still going back to our pencils. So we have our flamingos and we just kind of prolong the line. So let's say I have the neck and I can make, so I'm making a curvy line inside the flamingo. Yeah, so something like this, yeah? Just like a bit continuing the shape of the body here um, teacher, do you like my, do you like my? Um, so what we're doing now, yes. Yeah, so we take our flamingos and we do these kind of ornament lines inside. So, and for this, we are just drawing inside the flamingo a bit more lines, just yeah, maybe one here, like this, like this. So it's not too much, basically in the body. So let's say there is like one in the neck that is crossing the neck. Yeah. And then there is also in the body that is crossing a bit the body. Yeah. And if you want, definitely we can make next time. Again, this art, this these ones what I have here, this cat, it's called Zentangle Art. It's very cool. You even can get specific, like books. They're already pre-made with those kind of drawings, and you need just to color them. But this is cool. What we try to do, we um we do our own Zentangle art, yeah? So basically this is just some curvy lines that follow the, um, the shape of, um, of our flamingos.
Teacher, do you like my work? Yeah, let's check. Ooh, yeah, that looks very cool, Antra. I really love the heart. You have it so in the middle of your expression, and the bodies are really good. Yeah, the line of horizon, very well. I just uh, wonder if you have anything colorful with you, if you have pencils or markers with you. I do not have markers, but I do have pencils. Wow, nice. Okay, definitely. You can use pencils to color it. And I hope you manage to do this lines inside because we're going to do also a little bit of yeah those um those elements inside ellie did it work for you aha uh -huh, i can see it now yes yes yeah good job on the lines hey very nice ellie really good so you can choose any design and then we put it now also in our lines. You see there are circles, there are some triangles or like waves, what, whatever Teacher, design you like. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Antra. Um, I only have 3% left on my phone. Well, let's hope. Use all of them and then I'm gonna send you the recording so you are able to finish the lesson, okay? Okay. Good. Yeah. But good job, Antra. I'm impressed with your motivation. Antra, she joined us on her way back home. She's outside on the street and exciting. She manages to watch the lesson and draw. Okay. Let's choose any of shapes you like. Here I also have octopus. You can also get inspired by octopus. You can do some hearts. You can do some little lines. Use your imagination, all, all the parts you like. So it can be simple. Yeah, it can be. I'm gonna do a bit of them. I'm gonna show you now. Yeah, so something like this, like just in the middle of the lines, I'm putting some shapes. Then I'm going to have a different colors there and different. Maybe also the main, the white wing. I'm still thinking, maybe I kind of want to leave it white. So I'm actually just keeping it clean. And uh... mm -hmm. so you can invent, take your time. There is no rush. And so just all the different design of lines. Okay, Antra has only 1% left on her battery. So, but I saw she did her pencil sketch. She said she has pencils to color, so yeah. Go ahead, take your choices for colors. And um, yeah, I'm gonna send you the recording, so no worries.
Mm. Yeah, so if you want some ideas, here are some ideas for the shapes, the wavy, the edgy lines. Let's, of course, okay, we already have heart. But still, maybe we can do, maybe I do the heart here. This is nice. Here. So where I'm planning the white space, I'm going to put two hearts. And, um, Aha, uh -huh, Audra, I can see. Woo, good job. Hey, good drawing. Nice one. Juliet Ellie, how are you doing with your ones? Woo, I see. I see. Very nice. Big space where the wing is left. Ah, oh, you did also inside the heart. That's interesting. Love it. Okay, we're moving soon to the paints. Juliet, what you say? Can we move to the paints? Um, I haven't finished my second phone call. Okay, sure. No rush at all. Let's um let's give time to finish. Uh-huh. Yeah, Audrey, you have a question. You can ask. I actually love you know, painting and drawing. It's my favorite thing. Oh, I'm happy um, to hear. I like today I wanted to, to draw space but couldn't do much because I had to do a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So I just started. Well, it's a start. Oh, you can and today is my little brother's birthday. He has now one year. That's so cool. Well, congratulations. And Valentine's Day is his birthday. <laughs> Nice, both Valentine's Day and the birthday. That's so cool. <laughs> awesome. Audrey, what paints you have? You have acrylic paints? Uh, actually, what paint? Check, but I don't remember. Wait. Yeah, I have a cool paint. Good job. Yeah, we're going to start with them soon so you can get them ready. Thumbs up, Ellie. Nice. Good job. Um, we're not starting. We, we're waiting for everyone. Uh, but just for those who are ready, we're going to be starting with pink. Yeah? Thanks, Audrey. I see your thumb. You're ready. 
So we will need different kind of things. Yeah, we're gonna need like the pale one, the middle one, and the dark one is red. And basically you can create it all just with white and red. So more white, of course it's more pinky and no white, then it's gonna be just clean red. Huh? And you see here, we also have transition in the sky. We have transition from pink to kind of peachy. And this is one of my favorite mixes. When you mix pink and yellow, then you get a very nice peachy color. Yeah, so this is gonna be for the sky, but plan that you have at least three. Yeah, so at least three different pinks. Whiter, medium, and dark one is basically just, just right. Mm -hmm. So I'm preparing, I'm taking my red here. And straight away I can take more white. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, let's say here I have the classical set. Yeah? Sometimes maybe you might also have paints like um, Naples Yellow. Naples Yellow actually also looks like a bit like light peachy color. Yeah, so check. If you have already mixed ones, then of course you can use them. If not, just one red and one uh, white shall work. Yeah? And how we mix. So we remember that red is very powerful. Yeah, what I do, I just water my brush. So it's wet, but not too wet. I kind of take off a bit of water out of it. I take a pile of white, set it aside. And then just a tiny bit, I take tiny bit of my of my red. Take a look, it's like, that's already too much. Add a little tiny piece. And I set it here and I started mixing. Okay? Ooh, and I see already, already I'm getting a strong pink color. Yeah? So then if I want darker, I add more red, of course. If I want lighter, I, red, I add more white, but um yeah just be careful it's better to add more red inside it than um then add too much from the start and then you're kind of hard and what we can do our first pinky color we can put to the just to the heart, to the middle of the heart. Yeah, so it's more or less, it's the light one, the light pink color. It could be even lighter probably than the mine one now. I'm gonna make it a bit, a bit lighter. So we paint the inside part of the heart. Mm -hmm. And we also go outside. So the, we had this horizontal line next to the, uh, the level of the heads.
Yeah, so this would be our first level, the middle, the heart in the light pink. Yeah, tell me, Audra. I I need a lot of pink stones to find a good one for the heart. That's true, yes. It's actually the big size of painting. So more white. Yeah, then you just add more white. And then you oh, add... Word. Yeah. The white is the paint. Take a look. This is the, the white I have. A really big big thing yeah the red and it's small the white i have huge because white is always that finishes first so you just get a huge bottle i have i have like this that's normal i also have like this it comes in the pack yes the small one but later you go to the shop and you buy separately white because um, you always need it. You need it for everything. And it's normal. It finishes first. So, but for today, for today, it should be enough. Today is no problem. You can... Oh, actually, you know, coloring is one of my favorite things. And drawing, too. Which one? Wolf. Wolf. That's interesting. And I also love swimming. Mm. Wow. Nice.
thanks. Thanks for sharing, Audrey. Yeah. Um, so, okay, I see everyone is still doing this pink part. Um, yay, good job, Audrey, you did it. Um, so you can plan the next steps. Actually, you can call me Audrey. Audrey, okay, thank you for correcting. Yes, Audrey sounds good. <laughs> so take a look, you did this. Yes, music? my Latvian name, because I'm Latvian. Yes, of course, I understand. But it's beautiful, very nice. Jared Ellie, how are you doing with the pink part, the middle one? Ah, ready, nice. So I continue. So let's do the sky. Um, so we did the oh, middle sorry. part. Uh huh. Tell me. Juliet isn't ready. Ah, uh -huh. sorry, sorry. Yeah, of course I'm waiting. Yeah, let's finish. Um, I'm just gonna speak. I'm gonna just explain what's coming next. Um, uh, and of course take your time to finish. So we did the pink part here in the middle, the main one. Then we're gonna add, so if we have some leftovers, that's perfect, because then we add just a bit more white and we get even more lighter pink, just like light one. And we do one more layer and the rest two layers at the top, that's when we are adding yellow but exactly to the same place where we have been mixing our pink. We just put some yellow and then it becomes peachy. And then we do the same story. We put just the darker peachy. And again, we add a bit more white and we getting light peachy. So basically here are like two pairs, pink, very light pink, peachy color, very light peachy color. Yeah. And then later we do the, the flamingos. Well, flamingos actually coming the last ones. Then we do the, the green grass and the blue water. But we're going to get to this level. Um, so if you have some pink leftovers, that's perfect. Um, you just add again a bit more white. So it becomes even lighter. And your next stripe is light pink. Yeah, and here you can feel. So if you haven't raised your pencil lines well, you can see them shining through. But so I can see my one shining through. Yeah, even I've tried raising them. So this is something. Finished coloring the part. Good job. You need it. Mm -hmm. So try now mixing.
pink and yellow. This is a, like one of my favorite mixes because then you get this peachy color. So again, just put aside, start mixing slowly. Yeah, just kind of. I actually need to open these because these are, you know, we buy them a time ago, but they're not open, so we need to open them. Okay, that's okay. very good. Um, let me show you a little trick, Audrey. Take a look. So if they're new, you might have this thing here at the, yeah? Yes, yes. I already opened it because I have done it. Because ah, I have good job. You know the yes, trick. Style. Good job. Because if this one is covered, it's closed with plastic, with the metal thing, you just turn your cap around and you press it. So like this, this pointy thing in the... Yes, in the I know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know it, but I'm just explaining for maybe if someone doesn't know. And like this, you break the thing and then you get your paints open. And um, it's very practical, but if you don't know it, then you're a bit like stuck, like, oh, how shall I open my paints? But uh, let's say, let's say here, I have a new one. Yeah, I can show it also to the girls. And this one uh, haven't been opened yet. So let's say here, here I have the metallic thing. Yeah, so, ooh, I need to open it. And here is my tap. And I just take a look outside. Ooh, this is this Sharpie thing. So just press like this and here, and then it's open and that's it. And I can use my, my paints. Yeah, wow, but nice. Audrey, Audrey is experienced painter. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm mixing my pinky leftovers with some yellow and then you will see how it all is turning to this kind of cool peachy color um what type of yellow like um like medium yellow or like yellow lemon light lemon yellow yes so usually you have both um take let's say medium yellow it will be warmer yeah but in this case both work so there is no big change you add a little bit of yellow and you will see it's like both are working yeah then you will just get a bit warmer color or a bit colder with the lemon yellow and um and first you mix just pink and just yellow and for the last stripe you will add just a bit more white so then it becomes more pale and um, and then you will get the last mix that is like pale peachy color. So you see white is something we use a lot. So just a big tube is practical to have. Aha, uh -huh, good job, good job, uh, Audrey. Yeah, and so you can finish the sky with peachy tones. Yeah, and so then we have. Yes, I just need to add a little light because my tones are usually more not not mm. so. Yes, of course. Right. This is the, the trick: wash more often your brush. So when your brush is clean. It's easier to make more pale tones, yeah. But when your brush has leftovers, then it's making more dark, more dirty the the layer. So basically, this is this is our sky. We have. The pink, burlight pink, we have peachy, and the lightened peachy.
I accidentally went over the line. Oh, that's um, no problem because acrylics, when they dry, you can get over um, with other color. So that's no problem. Okay. Nice peachy tone. Yeah, did you manage already to do the peachy tone? What? Oh, yeah. Yes, I did it. Good job. Yeah, so just let's wait till everyone is done with the peachy sky. And then we move all together for the green and the blue part. Yes, okay. Good. I really need to wash my hands, so I'll go fast. Yeah, wash sure. You have time. Take your time. No problem. Do you know how many brothers I have? Three. Uh, do you have three brothers? Yes. One is one year old that that, that he got today. Wow. Because it's found Yeah. One is three years old. And my big brother who, who will who get who will who this year will be 10 is 9 now. Wow. Such a big family. That's so cool. And how old are you, Audrey? I, I, I when it's 3rd September, I'll get 8 years. Mm -hmm. I'll be 8. Cool. So now you're seven. now you're seven. Good job. Wow. <laughs> yes. But I okay, go good, section class. Nice. Ready to continue. Okay, let's check what we need. So for the green part, I'm gonna show you one cool technique that you don't mix uh light and green paints on the palette but you actually mix them right on the paper. Yeah, and it looks much cooler. And then for the water, basically we need just light blue. And first we mix it with white, we get like really lighter tone. And then we do these circles to, um, to have the water effect just with a bit darker or the basic blue. Yeah. Um, I say we can start with the light blue, so it dries. Then we move to the green, and then we move back to the dark blue, yeah? So all I need, I'm taking a bit of blue, again, not so much, because we always need more white than we need um, the paint, yeah? And I'm adding much more white. Again, tiny bit of blue. I'm mixing slowly. 
Yeah, if not, if it's not enough, I add more. If it's enough, I stop and my paint is ready. Yeah. So just with the light blue, I'm actually covering everything, the whole bottom part. Even the legs, even the legs, because it's a light blue, it's watery. I'm gonna go on top with my darker blue. Yeah, so both, I use white paint to make my blue lighter. And I also use just like more water for the paint to be more transparent. Like both works. Huh? So very light. If you see your blue is turning too dark, just clean your brush first, and then you add more white paint and then it's gonna be the, um, just gonna be lighter. Okay. Yeah, and we'll leave it dry. Then we continue with the, um, with those water circles. Ready with the light blue, Ellie? Not yet, okay, continue, no rush. Audrey, how's your light blue layer? It's not so light, but it is blue. Okay. If it's not too light, I mean, um, or you just put more white, you can put also just on top of it. Let's say you clean your brush, your brush is clean, and then you take some white, just clean white, and you can put even on top, you know? So not only mixing on the palette, 
putting on top of your paper also works uh, in case you want to lighten it a bit. Now I've lightened it up too much, just in purpose of showing. Uh, so I go back now and make it a bit more here and darker. Um, the next step, so we, we let it dry. So the blue is drying. Next one will be, hopefully you have two different greens, lighter and darker. And it will be very important that you use your palette. So the plastic thing where you mix the paints and you place them next to one to each other. So I place, like let's say one here. And then I place one like really close, but not mixing. Yeah, so I'm placing very close both paints. Yeah, here it is. And this will be one of the techniques that you can use. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait for everyone to to be ready and see. I mm -hmm. forgot that there was supposed to be grass, so I used the sky and I accidentally covered it. The grass, so um let's think like so because you are the author, you can decide. Although I think it looks nice with like just the light. Yeah, then then just skip the step, leave just your uh blue water for this. Maybe actually and... mm -hmm. I think I'm trying to disentangle another time because like um with their necks, I accidentally like put the pink over it and now I can't really see the design. Ah, okay. No problem. Um, my idea was that we also maybe use like markers for design, uh, because they can, you know, color on top of the paint. Um but exactly, we, we see it how it goes and um we can also skip the design part. It was just one of the options. Um, Julie, do you have the space for the green? Yeah, okay. Audrey, what about you? Do you have the space for the green? Mm, Audrey is busy. <laughs> so what's the trick with the green? Take a look at Juliet. You take the brush. So you don't mix on the palette, you mix it on the paper, but you grab like simultaneously two of them. So on your brush should be like both light and dark. And then you go with those ones on, and then it's, not, but here be careful. You don't really move too much your brush, you know, just like you let the mix, you let like get some strokes but not really. Um... So this is just an interesting way to do the, the mixes. Yeah? And then they mix a bit and then uh, still there are some clean strokes, but definitely you don't use, like you don't move your brush too much around. Yeah, because it's not about mixing them completely to get a new like third green color. It's more about just getting the strokes. And with this part, our um, background is ready. 
So basically what is left are our um, flamingos. And here you can already decide. So you can just take darker pink, darker red. You can make both flamingos red, but then you don't need white, just like straight red color. And you can have, um, yeah, because they need to be like sitting on top of a background. They need to be, um, the color needs to be more intense. And I think I'm going to take also a smaller brush. Yeah, because the flamingo is already small enough. And, um... And what we can do, so let's say I take just red and I can color my flamingo. And then you say, wow, but I'm gonna have my all my design colored. So there are kind of two options. Either you go all around with red and then you go maybe around with the black marker to repeat your design. Or a bit more complicated way is um, you use actually also the red, the red incorporated into the design, and then you will have other colors in it. Yeah. So now it is your creative time because this is also something you should learn as an artist to take your decisions. Uh, if I do something or I don't do something, if I put this color or another. Yeah. So now with Flamingo, And if you feel more comfortable with markers, go ahead and take them. You know, um, you can definitely have different mediums on your painting. So not only acrylics, you can have whatever. But when it's dry, I have to do the eyes. Yes, with the eyes, definitely wait. This is the secret for them to work out. You need to wait till they dry, then you can do the, uh, the spot. When it's wet, it's all blurring and it's all. So with this one, I've decided to go like with the so with red, but doing the separate design strokes.
Ooh, good job. I see your, your artwork. Really nice one. Um, shall we make maybe flamingos a bit more like reddish? So they're like more intense, they're shining, you know, in the okay. middle. Because they are the main heroes of our painting. Yeah, we, we did lots of work on background. We did the background very interesting. But still, the main thing where the viewers are looking are our flamingos. And it means you want to make them. Teacher, I think I have one of the problems here. Tell me, tell me, Audrey. Okay, I color down the colors too much, and I'm afraid the I colored the grass color colored now with pink, and the flamingo now is colored in the gray tone that I used for the ground. Ah, okay. So you got a bit of green. Where the, the red of flamingo should go. No, where it can flamingo be. Okay. So, yeah, but don't worry. Um, we can fix everything with acrylics. So the main thing you should do first, the part that you want to correct, you need to be sure it's dry. So either Oh, I see, I see Ellie, you're showing me. Good job. Maybe also the inside part, you can make a bit less white and you just add a bit more also pinkish inside. So the wing is not so big. Yeah, and um, like, so it's not a big white spot in the middle of the flamingo, but you add a bit of. So back to Audrey. So Audrey, first, you really wait for it to dry. You can also use the paper towel, you know, like a bit like tick, tick, to, um, and once it's dry, it's easy to correct to whatever color you want. Huh? And um, so if you got their green, but it should be red, uh, it's it has to be dry and then, um, then you correct it. So don't worry, this is really not a huge mistake. Everything is correctable in the world of acrylics. I did like a little bit of, um, I did like Ah, oh, good job, I see. It's, it's nice, it's better. I like it more and I like the hearts also in the, in the middle, yay. Well, now just like take a look at your painting, think yourself if there is anything else you want to add. Um, if not, then of course, don't forget to add your signature. We are the painters. Oh, the legs. I, I forgot, almost forgot about the legs. So legs, we're doing thin lines. To do thin lines, you need to have like, okay, so the brush should be, thin but also it should be pretty much watery yeah so we just do the straight lines with the legs teacher yeah tell can me can i show my drawing definitely we'd love to see it Ah, I can see. Now I know what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so one flamingo is very good and the other one got a bit green. Okay, so what you do, Audrey, now? Uh, first, you touch with your finger your green flamingo and see. Do you have green on your finger? Is, the, is it yes. dry? No, it isn't. Okay, so it means... You can take, let's say, the paper towel, yeah? You take the paper towel, you can dry a bit. Or you just wait maybe like three, four minutes because the green should be dry. This is very important. Huh? 
so you can make it quicker by using paper towel and um or you just wait but we need to have it otherwise it doesn't work yeah the correction doesn't work when it's all and once your green will be dry then what you need to do audrey you need to put a little bit of white on top it means you clean well your brush and you take a clean white color and you put on top of your green. It's gonna create like a protective layer. It's gonna be, it, it's not gonna be perfectly white because you're gonna have green on, on, on there, but it'll, it will serve very well for your pink to go on top. Yeah, because you want to put pink on top or red on top, but if you put it straight away to green, it's going to get a bit dirty, a bit too dark. So I you... think I have an idea. Tell um, me. I, I just color the green with the white, and when the white dries, I'll try again on the white. Very nice. Good, good idea. Exactly. Yes. You need to cover it with white, and then it's like you have the new paper again. Yes. So uh, we also don't forget to do the water circles because otherwise the legs look too kind of strange, just, you know, two sticks. We definitely need to take just blue without white, just blue and just make this uh, circle movement. But of course, be careful that your legs are dry. Otherwise, you're gonna have red moving around. And what else would be are the peaks of the flamingos. You can use maybe some brown, you can use some sienna color or ochre, you know those colors that are a bit brownish. I think the paint is dry. I'll try again. Perfect. Yeah. So once it's dry, be, like very important, your brush is clean, your white is clean, and then uh, you just put the layer on top. And let's say for if you want to make details, it also works. I just take a pencil and I can just make the outlines for the eyes with a pencil. Why not? No, with the brush, it's difficult. And remember the upper line is always darker of the eyes for everyone. Try the whole picture so I can see how I need to. Yeah. Uh-huh, I'm gonna take a look straight away now. Okay. Mm -hmm.
But for me, it's the time to take off the tape. It's always the nice part of the drawing. Nice, our San Valentine's Day pinky flamingos. Oh. Well, I'm going to stop recording here, but still we finish, we share, um, I help if anyone's needs. Um, for those who are watching recording, I hope your flamingos turned out cool. Feel free to share. And yeah, next week we're going to paint something else.